Dude, Hassel, I love you guys. What's so going much. on, everybody? I hope everyone's having a fantastic evening, afternoon, pre noon, no matter where you are in the world. I'm Hassan Piker, and this is the Hassan Abi broadcast coming to you live from not so sunny, but actually very gray, very gloomy California, Los Angeles. We are live and alive. It is Monday, December 7th, 11 19. And yeah. Yeah, it's, it's really cloudy out here. Nothing changed. Why are you always late? Please don't hurt me. Just a question. Because I hate you. That's why. Uh, because I I, I want to punish you. guys are scared to moan in front of your girl. Couldn't be me. I'd be up in her ear like it's top of the hour every hour. Why would I be? Ad break coming to why would I be late? I don't know. Maybe because I have phone calls leading up to the stream. Maybe because I wake up at 6 a.m. every day and from 6 to 11 is not enough to actually uh do all the uh the business deals that i gotta do and like set stuff up outside of the world of the stream so that the world of the stream can benefit i love you daddy who's sad but that's why and today is no different just like every other day today is no different in that regard uh, I am late because I was on a call. Uh, I can't tell you more. I can't give you additional details. Actually, I can, I guess. It's just uh, I am uh, helping set up the the Ossoff and Warnock campaigns, potentially. Maybe. Who knows? We'll see what happens. Um, Cyberpunk reviews are out. I've been looking at all of it. Yes, I... I, I shaved my mustache, if that's what you're wondering. Uh, I, I did do that. I shaved it. And uh, I told you, without the without the beard, without the, the beard and everything else, like, yeah, I, I knew I was going to look like a little baby. And I do. Um... Cyberpunk reviews are in. I have uh, the, the subreddit nice. already open, looking at all of the reviews. Like, for the game title and, and everything else. I'm like, literally, I was just... This morning, I was uh, playing a little bit of, here. Liberal Raphael I'll do the quick personal uh, news or stuff segment Radical right now. Raphael I'll just get it out of the way. Radical liberal Raphael Warnock. And then we'll get Radical right into it. Raphael we'll get right into Warnock. other stuff. Um, so... Raphael Warnock. Radical liberal Raphael Warnock. Radical liberal what? Raphael. So, this morning, I i mean, last night I went to sleep early. I, I started watching, aside from, um, aside from the, the, uh, the, the big mouth that I've been watching off stream, I watched completely randomly because I was hanging out with my brother, his girlfriend, and my mom. And he suggested we watch this flight attendant yeah, movie. Or, or sorry, series on HBO Max. I think it's like literally called Flight Attendant, actually. With like Kaylee Cuckoo. Cuckoo? However you say her name. I don't know. The, the chick from Big Bang Theory. Uh, who... Four months of being a radical liberal. Is, is whatever. She's like kind of hot in the, in the show. But uh, I was... I was watching that. Kuoko? Really? And um, it's actually not that bad. Surprisingly. Like, it's surprisingly not that bad. So, uh, I was watching that. Woke up early. Went to sleep early. Woke up early. Worked out in the morning. That was pretty good. It's cold as fuck out here. Like, no memes. No joke. Happy five months. As it is Your actually is fucking cold. Like, it, it was cold as hell. Better. Like, this morning, for you and I for worked out in 50 degree really weather hassle. outside, and it reminded me of all of the, all of the horrible, like, I, I, I just, I guess I have repressed memories from my childhood, okay? I guess I have repressed memories from my childhood of me Looking having today, to, like, in the middle of the freezing fucking winter, like, train, whether it was, like, running or doing, like, PT or even potentially, uh, like, uh, I, I just, the things that I remember is just like horseback riding. 
Let out. me cut her hair, you beautiful bastard. And just hating every moment of it. Ankara soğundan beter mi? No, of course not. Of course, Ankara is way colder. But... So... Like, it just... It was a Sorry. reminder that... It was a reminder that, like... God damn, I really hated that. Like, I really hated... My boyfriend found out I am sub to you. Yesterday and today, he walks in with a mustache and contemplated growing out his buzz cut like Hassan. His crochet with Lee. Well, um, I've shaved my mustache, so your boyfriend is behind. Um, anyway, I know that whenever I say, like, the weather, everyone immediately is like, Dude, 50 degrees is nothing, you fucking soft ass. Yeah, you acclimate the human body... Folks, Hello, baby for those of you who don't know, for my favorite the house. human body acclimates to whatever the climate you're in. So, yes, if I am used to 75 and sunny Hello. every day, then yeah, 50 is like fucking cold. It's very cold. If you are used to 50 degrees or if you're used to 30 degrees weather all the time when you're in the winter, when the springtime comes Thanks. around and... Uh, it starts to get like a little bit warmer, like 50 degrees. You're like, oh, this is sick. Yes. In Los Angeles, for the most part, you don't really have an experience during the day when the sun is out where you need to wear a jacket. Like throughout the entire year. Anyway. Um, yeah, like I, I, sure like, I went to uh, college in New Jersey. Like, I, I know years, what a horrible so winters look this like. Community supporting me through the worst time in my life. Anyway, so living That's in a cold country slash state does not make you cool. Yes, I, I am still saying that. People really think being cold is a personality trait. I know it's so fucking weird. Anyway, um. He posted a pic of Steve Harvey's mansion to your Instagram story and said it was Kelly Lovler's. Oh, damn. Hassle. I thought this was Kelly Lovler's. I was wrong. <laughs> I'm not surprised that if you guys, I, if you remember what her, what the inside of her mansion looks like, so, I'll so, delete it. So. But if you remember what the inside of her fucking mega mansion looks like, it literally looks like the outside would look like that. No cap. I think they live in the same hood. Assume I mean, that wouldn't be surprising. I anyway, it, it doesn't matter. Even at work. Love you, man. So. Hassel. Hasanabi has 839,000 followers, but only 129,000 people have voted. Stop the steal. Yeah, Nick Merckx is clapping my cheeks now. But, I mean, there was no way I was going to beat him, dude. There was no way I was going to beat any of these guys. Like, let's be real. Like, they are... They have stands. They have more stands than I do. They're in this space. Like, I'm a, I'm a Hua Megalol. Like I'm the smallest person in this group sad, of people. Removed my follow of like, over two overall, years as far as, like, three. industry measurements goes, it's like... It's like having, uh, it's like asking the New York Times who these people are in comparison to someone like myself. Like, well, maybe not the New York Times because they covered the gaming side of things as well every now and then. But like, like Raw Story or something like that. You know what I mean? Like, or like Mediate. Donos don't be stupid um, and get TTS disabled by parroting some shite. Thanks. Um, you sound, you should check out her stock plays, man. She moved close to 25 million in stock plays this year. Good for her. I'm glad that she's using all of the, uh, the insider access that she has so as a senator uh, for good. Again. And what I mean by that, of course, is, uh, you know, the good of her wallet, her personal. Um, Maya bigger than you, Keck W. Is that true? I mean, I wouldn't be surprised. Oh, this is her mansion. Wait. Wait, this is that one. Hold on. Let's take a look at this. This is that, isn't it? Glad you. Oh, no, it's not. Wait, left side. Pool? No, pool is in front of it. Okay, this is... <laughs> Sorry, I got... 
I got uh I got the the mega mansions mixed up. The quadrillionaire mega mansion. This Atlanta estate for 10 million. Oh man. Not bad for a not bad for a farm girl, right? Not bad for a farm girl. Oh wait, what's Kelly Loeffler's background? Oh, what wait, I'm sorry. She started working at the company and then married the CEO. Yeah, that's cool. And then literally purchased their Senate seat. That seems great. That seems normal to me. Basically, there's many Eight bugs. You need a jacked up PC. That's what I've heard. Um. Yeah. That's the American dream, dude. Who amongst us? Who among us does not want to live the American dream of like, you know, live working on your family's fucking farm? You know, going to a going to a, a liberal arts college or whatever the fuck she went to Hassel, and then constantly moving up and then literally skyrocketing. Have you seen all the backlash against D on Twitter is pretty yummy karma? No, no, no. It's, it's on it. It is so it insignificant. I don't want to talk about it. Okay. Please don't do that. It, it, it's it's so silly. What he's doing in Georgia is ultimately good. Okay. What he's doing in Georgia is ultimately good. He is, it's good because one, it activates younger people in the political process, going to win people that George normally races. would not. It gets uh, a lot of his, uh, a lot of the people in his audience to like actually interact with regular human beings in their door knocking process. It is ultimately good because it gets the word out and potentially uh, you will help. You and you're amazing, Even if it's marginal, it's still something. About yourself, okay. You should. Uh, so I'm not going to shit on him on that uh, side of things, but it, these these institutions are like some they shite, are some shite, some terminally shite, some shite, some shite, some terminally shite, some apprehensive shite. to all pol all manner of political organizers all of these fucking institutions are terminally apprehensive to like any sort of fucking controversy so, so you have right to make yourself notable on top of everything else and if if uh, a lot of your uh notoriety comes from heated gaming moments and shit like that and i know this from personal experience like then of course they're gonna be of course they're gonna know you as that they don't fucking watch you they don't know what you uh what your worldview is they just know you as like the worst fucking moments on your stream and Pass. for uh for for i saw someone in the deep web trying to dox you uh, that happens all the time um but it, it's basically Thanks for the great content. It's basically, I mean, he knows this. DGG knows this. That's why they fucking uh, constantly uh, pump out my uh, worst moments or shit out of context all the time whenever I do something. They know that. Hey, I saw and the and hey, guys. that's just how it is. You just got to fucking put your head down. If you genuinely, legitimately believe the cause, you just, and, and this is for, for uh, Destiny, which I think is doing, uh, while, while I have my disagreements and I personally don't like them, um but uh but but i think what he's doing is good so if he truly believes it in in uh doing the right thing that he has to fucking how keep his head down new mansion? So, like he has to keep his head down and keep fucking door knocking it's just how it works um uh, regardless though like you don't have to fucking do door knocking with a, a dsa or some shit or whatever the fucking story is Chat like is just do your just today, do your own focus. thing Um, no, we're, we're done. We're done. Uh, it, we're, we're done with that subject matter. It is so uh, irrelevant. Hassle. Just wanted to say that his intruding scholars haven't decided that way. Yo, I was rewatching one of your VODs and you mentioned something about how fasting is to make you empathize with the poor. Uh, just want to say that that isn't true and scholars haven't decided that way. Also, you are missing the psychological aspect of it. People who fast know that it will end that it will end so the suffering they face is nothing like the poor people who don't just get to eat at sundown and that's it wait what that's what i was taught when i was younger man i i, I that's not that's like the common meme in in islam i i don't know what the theological scholars uh are are saying but 
I'm almost certain. I mean, I I don't. I wasn't coming at it from like a, from a theology point of view at all. It's just how people are taught in in uh, the the Islamic world. They they are they are taught that uh, you fast because you understand uh, those who have less than you. That's why zakat is also a big part of it as well. And regardless of what like um, uh, theologists believe or or have studied, which is great and important, um, that is usually Thanks the most common way that people are educated on the matter. Have found a place to hang. Which PS would kind of defeat the purpose, right? The regardless of what like the roots the of it are, years. that is usually the message around it now. So that's you'll you'll find that most Muslims will tell you the same thing. Are you still able to guffaw without a mustache or is the stash required? No, I can still guffaw. <laughs> uh, Compilation of all 13 times. Oh, nice. Someone made this finally. Okay. Um, you fast Ramadan? I do not. Yes, the caterpillar is gone, folks. It's gone. We, we did it. As a kid raised Muslim, I thought you were the reason for us cleansing the soul. Empathy for the, with the poor. Yeah. Thanks for the great streams. Does it feel that people just say you're right all the time, like on opinion matters? Love you, chat. Um, hope you are all doing well. Hassle. I think you're, I, I think you're mistaken, my friend. Uh, or maybe you're new here, but the the meme is that they never think I'm right. This community almost always is looking for ways to find especially on opinion matters are always looking uh for ways to find how not right i am and they will even go to like new depths they will sink to, to new lows half the time when i'm literally correct even if it's not an opinion if it's like a recollection of from my own personal experience like as an older gamer it can be like a recollection Five about like time. video game category categories or something and they will literally just to the end gaslight me as though I'm completely incorrect. Um, I disagree with you on that point. You're wrong. We always agree with you. Exactly. See, there you go. Um, so no, I, I definitely, I, I definitely, uh, have an entire community uh, dedicated with, with blind loyalty to like proving me wrong on issues. And sometimes they're right. Sometimes. Even on political matters, uh, the the people who speak out against uh, what I'm saying often uh, can be correct. And if they are correct, I, I correct myself. Like, sometimes I'm, sometimes I'm right, sometimes I'm wrong. It's just how it is. Any gamers has buff hassle. It wasn't video game categories, it was genres. Genres, open world sandboxes, the fact that uh, Attack on Titan is a mecha. Uh, is it mecha anime? He made of this, I think it's a libidinal fixation. The economy it. is all Hassan Pikers. What is this? What? A different framing of this. I think it's a libidinal fixation. <laughs> I think it's a uh, fundamentally, it's it's a sadistic idea you that you can't just have a handout, which is Happy you know just months. an unequivocal good pleasurable thing that comes with no strings attached and no no uh, uh, contribution from you. Uh, you. What you need is a hand up, which is something that embedded within that is a, a a a an obligation an obligation to suffer in some fashion a hand up is okay you know you have to do the I work even if it's totally even if it doesn't matter even if money isn't real and it's totally irrational uh no you still have to suffer or waste your time or do busy work or whatever the hell uh you know before you know just so you can continue to exist yeah, it's like this idea that if you were to give someone money outright or if people didn't have to labor, that your belief of what natural human instincts are means that everyone just sit around playing, playing computer games all day and that you have to basically task people with oh, things no. because if they got too much too easily, it would somehow 
end innovation and end art and end creativity, nothing good would happen in the world anymore. It's funny you say video games because that's what I think ninety percent of the entrepreneurship today is is starting a <laughs> Twitch stream. <laughs> like that's where all that's what that's what that's what the economy is now. You don't know how much money goes around in little bits on Twitch. <laughs> like this is how we're getting the money back from you know losing our manufacturing base, putting that overseas. Is 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 just uh, the Chinese teenagers just buying Twitch money and sending it back over here. It's our big export or big export <laughs> industry. <laughs> It's our big, ex- our big expert, San Bikers. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Oh God, I'm the backbone of the U.S. economy, baby. Let's go. Oh shit, I don't even have the mustache anymore, so I can't fucking do the Truth Teller Eagle Fuck hey, Not Net. Have a great holiday break. You're all beautiful. Hats. I'm the bootstraps, brother. Uh, Germany import streamers, dude. I actually. A country that uh, definitely, definitely fucking uh, is, is like low key sneaking into the market is Canada. All these fucking Canadians, dude, they are running the Twitch racket, dude. They are literally running it. Hey, that's why you need an American yeah, streamer like, like me, like goddammit. Hank Parker, ladies and gentlemen. Just Hank motherfucking Parker. Like baby. That's why baby you gotta right vote now. for me on the Dick Cerdo. That's why you gotta vote for me. That's right. We're losing, folks. We're losing right now. 27.6% of the vote. 30% is gone to Nick Merckx. Did you hear Mario Judah's new song taking over? Tisha like took over the northern chunk of Wisconsin. Okay, dude. I saw you complete the um, souls. You uh, we lost. Uh, it doesn't matter. There's two favorite. hours left. But hey, it was a good run. Uh, you're only saying that because you recently found out about hot Canadian RuneScape scre- streamers? What do you mean? I love this. This is funny though. The economy is all Hassan Pikers. This is true. It's true. Anyway, um, that's all for personal news. Yeah. When you realize you're helping Trump settle the deficit, who cares, man? Nelk boys just started. I warned you last week. I don't know Thanks what this you, is. Thanks, Hassan. Online uni has been really tough, but having you in the background while doing homework really helped me. Wish me good luck. I have finals this week. So, Cyberpunk reviews are all basically the same, yeah. which is like, it's a good game. Uh, it, it's, it's fun. It is broken. Like, especially towards the end where the game is just broken. Um, before we get to the cyberpunk stuff, though, uh, so I, I'm going to welcome all the Normans. Uh, so I think we should just do that right now. I'm just going to tweet out that I'm live and uh, get it pumping so that uh, the Normans can get their fucking news fixed. There's a lot of stories. To... You said we wouldn't subscribe for a second month. And here I am. Lol, love your content. Nice. Well, hold on. Let me just. Daycare is now open. Get your Monday news here while, get it while it's hot, hot, Cyberpunk hot. Cyberpunk is nuts on your face, just kidding, hassle. Join now. www.twitch.tv Two months, months baby. Now. Love the streams, hassle. Also, I shaved and look like a child now. Hassle. <clears throat> anyway. Pimpool, pimpool, pimtool transition is grift ahead of schedule. What's he transitioning to? I think Democrats are gonna win both seats in Georgia. Oh, no. Now... Oh, fuck me. We're definitely going to lose now. Holy shit. I mean, my man, guys, just because he's saying what you agree with, it doesn't change the reality that, like, popular Minecraft player and streamer Josh says he wants nothing to do with the stand culture that has sprung up around the game. Other Minecraft players like Dream, Carl Jacobs, and Turbo respond. Bro, this in and of itself is literally a fucking testament to how powerful stand culture is around Minecraft. I really got to be more of a shark, dude. It's frustrating. Much I love everyone. I really, I, I really, every time I see stuff like this, I remind, I, I am reminded that I don't do 
here. Uh, get the get the Normans in here. Welcome the Normans in here. Bugs but every time I see stuff like this, I'm like, I really gotta fucking do more on the meta. Like I really gotta go retweet it, folks, so we can have stand culture myself. But two months, Ajahn, Pogo. Welcome the Normans and convert them into stands. But play Minecraft to get the Minecraft people to vote in GA for Warnock and Ossoff. The problem with the Minecraft stands is the problem with stand culture is that it's not like uh, it's not actionable. And what I mean by it's not actionable is that uh, most of the Minecraft stands or stands on the internet in general are usually locked into a certain age group. So you can only be. You can only be in a certain age group when you're like a a, a stan, and that's usually 14 year old, Middle 14 year old Raja. girls for that matter. They are the ones like 12 to 14 is like the most hyper active uh, on the internet uh, age group. So those people are not interested in politics, understandably. Those on those kids are not able to fucking go out and vote. They are mega active on the internet, but they're just not. You know, they're just not people that you would ever target Abbey, you're unless so you're a fucking Nazi uh, or like a Nazi pedophile, uh, you know, uh, or or literally like uh, trying to fucking brainwash them into becoming Nazis or some shit. So you will lose your entire community if they can't even see themselves in the spam of 13 year olds. No, that's we'll we'll always have. a. I mean, there are like. See, I, I'm 14 and I'm engaged and care about politics. Okay, but like you're unique What's in up, your dude, love from Colombia. You're unique in your age group. Like most, most of the Minecraft stands are actually really fucking progressive from what I've seen too. Like they are K-pop stands and Minecraft stands are pretty fucking progressive too. Like overall, especially on social causes. So at least that's good. At least they're not like. You know, maybe they're even over the top. I like I am uh, not as progressive as as they want. Uh, who do you think will win their own off? I don't know. When I was fifteen, I was super woke, and everyone at taught everyone at school thought I was a freak. Yeah. What about at Hassan Abbey stance? I'm nine and I hate politics. Okay, guys, you know when you write that, like, you can get uh, banned from the platform, right? Like, there's staff in here. Like, I know you're joking, but Hassle. that's actionable. Like, they will ban you from the platform if you, like, even meme about, like, being 12 or whatever, if you're underage. Shaving was not the move. <laughs> what did I tell you? Pogo, what did I tell you? Pogo. I have a I, when I have him. a when I have the beard, everyone's like the beard is great. When I have the mustache, everyone's like, oh, the mustache fucking sucks. Why'd you shave your beard? And then you get used to the mustache. Now you're like, oh, dude, you look like a baby. Why'd you shave the mustache? A week from now, when uh, all this shit grows back to like the perfect fucking, uh, all this grows back to like the perfect five o'clock shadow, everyone is gonna shut the fuck up. No more. It stash. does not matter. No more sub. Shaving the hair the, and the glasses. Are you a good kid? I've always had glasses. The boy who lived. What? Oh, anyway, so. It, it, well, Looking I don't actually kid. listen to the chat Dash about my appearance. Buff today. Why would I do that? Okay, I want to thank you because you got me into politics and now I'm switching universities, switching my major to political science with a minor in history. What were you doing before? Where did the dad stash go? I saw Kyle did some new leftist test. If you consider doing one of those on stream, I think it would make for fun content. I've done it before. Like, I don't really care. Look directly at the camera, please. Here. Is that good? Love the shaved look, Hassan. How'd your upper lip feel once you shave the stash? The worst part about, um, this is so gnarly. But fuck it, why not? Why not? I should, I should explain it because I'm always doing too much information. This is t the TMI hour. But the worst part about a mustache is that it's the flavor saver, right? So when you when you shave the mustache, there's like white. Uh, is it called like whiteheads? Kind, of kind of snack. There's like pockets of of whiteheads that have accumulated we are whatever we through eat. 
find them high. Or I guess not the best, but the worst part. The, not the worst, but the best part of the, uh, is shaving it. Bugs is that there's like little pockets of whiteheads that you can pop and squeeze out. Yeah, it's gnarly as fuck. But I was this morning. That's all I was doing is just like, yep. It's the best part. It's so gnarly. Only if you don't wash what your beard. That's not true. I wash my beard around. like a fucking animal, brother. No matter what happens, once it gets to a certain... No, I fucking wash it like crazy. No matter what. No matter what. No matter what... Uh, like how much you clean it. It's, it's literally just oil uh, accumulating as a consequence of like having so much hair. It's not even like a real whitehead. It's like... By the way, speaking of Georgia, is that why you were late? No, I was late because I was uh, doing business deals. Um, that happens when you shave pubes. Can you not talk about how long it takes your beard to grow back? You're a beard ableist. Kind of weird, my dude. Oh, that's true. My beard has already grown back. Look at this. Like, my 5 o'clock shadow was already prominent. I shaved yesterday. That's definitely one area where... Even even after I started taking finasteride, that's like Q one area TV, that that, uh, that did not card, but I love power tanks. That did not get too limited. Like finasteride, I noticed makes it harder for me to grow a beard. My beard, whether you want to believe it or not, literally used to grow faster than this even uh, before I started taking finasteride for my hair. It's really unfair that you're hot enough to say that kind of thing and not discuss me for more than a second. Well, the thing is, like, like everyone does this stuff. Like literally everyone does this shit nonstop. And, and I think it's like funny that we, we never talk about it, but like literally everyone does it. You know what I mean? It's like picking your nose. Like your nose three. gets itchy. You pick it sometimes. Okay. Sometimes just purely uh, uh, blowing your nose doesn't get all the shit out. Sometimes you got to go to the sink and dig in a little bit. Okay. You got to go on a mining mission. Like everybody fucking does this shit. And yet we always act like we don't do it. You know what I mean? We always act like we don't fucking do that. And it, it's so dumb. Swagger. Why do you have shit in your nose? Not shit. Immigrants taking American jobs again? What? Anjan, thanks for four months. <laughs> Mark your calendars because Lifetime and KFC have partnered for a Lifetime original mini movie. You don't want to miss a recipe for seduction starring Mario Lopez. What the fuck is this, yeah, you dude? Go, you big baby. Uh, was playing Sleeping Dogs offline consider business deals? No, I, I got done with a bunch of stuff early on. Uh, I'm still working on the podcast. I'm still working on the on the merchandise, trying to make sure that it's all union. Happy six months. Uh, uh, so it's I all like fucking union uh, shirt makers. But... But, uh, but after that, I had a call in between the call. Uh, I, I played a little bit of fucking while I was like doing other calls and, and talking to people about the podcast, I was uh, playing a little bit of, uh, was playing a little bit of sleeping dogs. Now, what was I doing while I was playing the sleeping dogs? Just the side missions. Like, uh, I was doing a little bit of the, the police side missions, nothing like main or not even like the cool, like yellow face missions either. Just doing ADHD gang also can we use people chat more um Azam please 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 give me a good charity that I can ask my race soul Trump supporting grandfather to donate to for Christmas preferably one that emails him a lot afterwards um uh raises like anything that works with undocumented immigrants is really good trans lifeline is really good three months let go Thanks for the good Are you times. liking Wish Sleeping you Dogs more now? Well. No, I love Sleeping Dogs. Wait, is this real? What are you doing? A lifetime original mini. Oh my god, this is, is this is fucking real. What are they doing, bro? Brother. Brother, this is ladies and gentlemen and and thembies. This is fucking wild, dude. This is I can't believe they did this. Like it, are we out of content? I think we've reached the end of the world. You know how like early explorers thought if you sail west far enough, or if you sail east far enough, or especially west far enough, like you're going to hit the end of the world. I feel like we so are the content to miners to our world and we have literally hit the, confines of your the edge of the content wall in the sea of and it's over. Chat. It's just, uh, it's done. <clears throat> it's, 
it's gonna wrap up uh, around itself again. Movie. You don't answer my proposal, and now you're not answering my call. I think I'm falling for the new chef. Jessica is falling for Harlan. The cook? Leave Jessica alone and skip town. He has a secret recipe that's gonna change the world. Harlan claims to have some secret recipe. A secret recipe? <laughs> Spare me. We all have our secrets. Step one, change your chair, you're back. Wait, my dog. Thank you. What is this? We all have our secrets. What is he, dead? What the fuck is this? We all have our secrets, dead guy. Secrets. If you marry my daughter, I promise there'll be more long weekends in your future. Mom, I have to tell you something. We have a problem. Secrets out, chicken man. I'll take care of this. You're ruining everything! Just kill him already! Who the hell are you? Harlan Sanders, the new chef. Mario Lopez is Colonel Sanders in a recipe for seduction. Okay, okay. At noon. One of the 11 herbs and spices of the forbidden human spice? Yeah, they, they kind of leaked it, but I guess it's blood. Blood is one of the 11 herbs and spices, huh? Dude, this is so bad. This is the worst thing I've ever seen. God damn, dude. 2020. I'm looking at the cyberpunk reviews on the one hand. On the one hand, the fucking cyberpunk reviews are looking kind of a doo-doo butter. Okay. Five months. Cyberpunk reviews are, are not like great. They literally look like they, they, they're just like they're they're it's a reviewer 10 out of 10, which means it's a seven. Okay. Like it's like it's looking mid, which is weird because I personally said it's either a fucking zero or a 10. It's either the best game ever or it's not, uh, or, or it's just not like uh, going to be a good game at all. It's going to be a massive flop. And it seems kind of mid is what the reviewers are saying. Um, but most of the criticisms, we literally told you, everybody shut up. Okay. I am, I don't want to be wrong on this. Okay. This is like, like, let me fucking ingest the hopium, okay? Everything sucks. Everything sucks. I got a PlayStation, Absolutely. thankfully, because of, because of you guys and the audience, uh, Coilio specifically. I was able to get a PlayStation, and the only fucking workable game... I, I played the two of the main games that came out already, finished them, more they were fun, but I need Mario more. And, and the PlayStation has been mid so far as well. So I'm losing out on Hopium. I need more Hopium pronto. Okay, everything else is terrible. Everything else has been terrible. Chat, everything else has been dog shit. Please, please, please let me have just one thing to look forward to. I'm going to lose my fucking mind. What is it? Movie is bananas. Cyberpunk 2077 is Dad Rock, not New Wave. God damn it! You already finished Valhalla? No, I didn't. But Valhalla is like mid. Like it, it's not that good. You're not playing Cyberpunk on PC? No, I was gonna play Cyberpunk on PC. Dude, if this turns into a Watch Dogs, I will that's lose it. Less. But from what I understand, the the main the main fucking uh criticism, from what I understand, is that it's super buggy, especially late game. Like. It's like Bethesda level, okay? We're talking, we're talking Bethesda level game crashing, game ending, soft locking bugs, okay? Which is fine because I am a glutton, okay? And, and I get punished all the time. I love Bethesda games. I am a huge fan of Bethesda games. So I am already used to Thanks, a massive, expansive, lips. insanely uh, convoluted, and, and dense open world that is going to make me rip my fucking hair out and still act like it's great. I've been doing this since fucking Arjan Morrowind, Pogo. okay? Arjan Pogo. I've been doing this every time since Morrowind. I never played Elder Scrolls Online. I can't speak to that. But like, I've been doing this for years. I've been doing this for longer than people have been alive in my audience at this point. Thanks for uh, so, smart so I'm used to it. Two months, you I don't want to hear it. I, I still... <sighs> Thank you for shaving so you can give the rest of us a chance. Feel strong, man. Which fucking reviews? Everybody saying that it's an amazing RPG with small bugs? Dog. Dog. An amazing RPG with small bugs. 
Hi, Hassan, you Have you met today. reviewers hassle, hassle, before, hassle, like for pre-launch reviews? Are you are you new? Hassle, hassle. Do you think a AAA title is gonna have pre-launch reviews that say this game is dog shit? No, pre-launch titles on a AAA uh, on a AAA game is supposed to literally be like, this is the greatest thing that's ever come out. This is the new Quran. This is the new Bible. Literally capture all of it. You know, add it into to one fucking uh thing. Like people will. No longer, this will cripple the economy because people will stop playing it. Will will never stop playing it. They will stop doing their jobs. They will stop going on dates. They will only play. This is the greatest thing to come out during a pandemic. In other, this is the real great reset that they were talking about. The World Economist Forum or whatever. Like this is the, that's what a, a real, uh, uh, incredible uh, review would look like Bugs if it's make good content. If it's actually and good. Plans. If they're saying it's a good game with some bugs, then that's not great. I think you're confusing early looks from movies. Early reviews just Let aren't reviews. They aren't hype reviews. No, I'm not. And so, I mean, good review from WAPO. I know my, my friend wrote this. Uh, Gene, I, I was talking to him earlier today. Well, I asked to him personally. He said it's a good streaming game because that's like one uh, uh, fear I always have. He liked it a lot. I still think it's going to be good. Uh, I, I'm, I'm definitely, uh, I am definitely Thanks exaggerating the intensity. The words that represent how I have always felt about the world. Hassle chat. But. Has got she. This is what they get for crunching those poor, obviously not United CG product, uh, CD project game developers. Yeah. It might be too big to review correctly under the time constraints. Yeah, he he basically said that too. He was like, dude, I had I had very little time to like review it. But one thing he told me that goes against what you have heard from the game informer and like all of those people is the fact that it's not as big as they make it seem. It's what you make it, basically. Like the game is a 20 hour game if you just speed run through the main line. And it's not, it's not like a fucking, it's not like a 175 hour game that you're going to have to go through. Wait, that's not a bad thing. No, no, no. Hold on. That doesn't suck. That's not a bad thing. Like, it's like Grand Theft Auto a little bit, but the side quests are expansive and also definitely good to do. Like the character missions and everything else that's around it. So it, it's... <clears throat> have you considered playing yakuza like a dragon no i'm not gonna play a turn-based game man i'm sorry uh to keep things clear and healthy you should wash your face twice a day one in the morning once before bed i do that already if you wash your beard every day you strip those oils from your beard leading to a dry and potentially damaged beard on average we recommend washing your beard twice a week yeah i i i would literally I, that's the whole purpose of beard oil um game spot said side quests suck though <clears throat> Aren't they planning to add DLCs for it? I, I don't know, but I mean, we can, we can do that as well. Yo, chat. I knew his son had a 14 year old son who looked like and talked just like him. Uh, okay. Good one. How are um, people so blind? Fallout 76, Cyberpunk 2077, 77 is after 76. Cyberpunk takes it's actually really nice because it doesn't lock you into a specific storyline. You can live on your own character and properly roleplay. Yeah. Out 76 wake up sheeple. Yeah, IGN and said it was a 20 hour main story. Yeah. Originally, before the game came out, like they were making it seem like tutorial mission is seven hours and it's a 157 hour game or whatever the fuck. And it turns out it's like a 20 hour game. Um, we'll, we'll look at the review. Should I just do this right now before I get into like the actual news news or should I just, I guess we're talking about it. Love you, Hassie. CD Projekt Red isn't allowing reviews to use their own footage for these reviews. They have used trailer and gameplay footage already released. Yeah, that's... AC Valhalla? Georgia learned how to count because of the 2020 election. This is an advancement in education. It's like playing Breath of the Wild and complaining the game is too short when you run straight to uh, Ganon and beat the game in two hours. Y'all know they literally delayed the game so they can make the one day one patch, right? I guess. Let's watch. Okay, we'll watch this bucket. Uh, it's also ad time. Top of the hour every hour. We have a six second ad break. I'm going to run the ad right now. Right now. If you would like an ad free broadcasting experience, all you need to do is 
subscribe, you can do it for $5 or for free with an Amazon Prime account Call that you connect free. to your Twitch account. You can use anyone else's Amazon Prime account in your family if you want to do that, and you will no longer see ads. Here's the ad now. Okay, we're starting. We have a city to burn. Wake the fuck up, samurai. We have a city to burn. So I, I before we before we even get going with this, um, I did watch some of the uh, bugs, and the bugs looked really bad. It, it, I think that they already clapped them, uh, but you can find bugs like uh, like people that have logged in and and uh posted some of like the really horrible bugs it's fucking bad but i'm sure that day one patch will fix it i just i need that right now i need to think about that let's just keep going before we dive in let me make a quick apology CD Projekt Red wouldn't allow us to use our own recorded gameplay for this review. So unlike a typical IGN review, what you're going to see while I talk about Cyberpunk 2077 isn't entirely representative of what I experienced when I played. But that restriction is only temporary, so when it comes out, we'll publish a new version of this review with our own footage to show you exactly what I'm talking about. Also, keep in mind that we haven't gotten to touch the PlayStation or Xbox versions yet, so what I'm talking about here is specifically the PC version of Cyberpunk 2077, which I played on a GeForce RTX 3080 GPU. And now, on to the review. The quality of an open-world RPG often isn't defined by the strength of its main story, but the side missions around it. With Cyberpunk 2077, CD Projekt Red has built an entire game There's around that philosophy. Apart from its surprisingly it short but utterly compelling central questline, the vast majority of what you can do in Night City is entirely optional, but still extremely impactful. This more freeform structure isn't without its faults. Did this motherfucker say he ran it on a 3080? Did I just miss that part? No, the story is short. Uh, the main story is short. Shut the fuck up. Of course it's going to be short, dude. There's like a gajillion fucking side missions that are, from what I understand, there are a gajillion side quests and, and character quests and uh, numerous uh, paths that you can go Thanks along for getting me to, for replay value that, that literally turns this into a fucking fully day. fledged uh, experience really is what you want to make it. Not it's not a bad thing. Like That's a good thing. With no AC Valhalla, the, no the, ads, the criticism I have for Assassin's Creed Valhalla that you guys literally agree with me was that it's a fucking 700 hour game and it's too expansive and it's not good enough because it's not fucking like mashed with uh with action and, and content you don't even play video games what are you on about what of course i play video games you fucking moron you probably come in here in the morning to get your news fixed and get the fuck out so you don't know no i play video games all the time 20 hours is not a short game 12 hours would have been a short game 20 hour main quest means it's a fucking 60 hour game across the board for for most normie players because you're not going to fucking speedrun the, the, the main mission. It's including loads of distracting bugs, but the strength of the missions themselves and the broad and interesting choices you have within them make Cyberpunk 2077 one of the most exciting RPGs I've played in recent years. You play as V. A mercenary in Night City who ends up with the psyche of long dead rock star and anti corporate terrorist Johnny Silverhand trapped in their head. Okay, this base. Yes, that's Keanu Reeves, though his performance is actually a bit break. stiff relative Asshole. to the rest of the excellent cast. Okay, but that's just Keanu Reeves. He's he's never, I mean, he's stiff. Do whatever it takes to stop him, defeat him, gut him. If I gotta kill, I'll kill. But Johnny's confrontational relationship with V is wonderfully tense, acting as the anchor of the whole story. Cyberpunk 2077's opening hours do an incredible job of getting you invested in their struggle. And then Okay, that 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 voice acting is just a little brutal, but we're going to move past it. Shut Night up. Night City's sprawling map opens